want to take a seat. It's fantastic to see you all here. It's amazing. As you know, this is our first ever gathering for LGBT plus in facilities management. It's really important to me to champion LGBT plus in facilities management because there are a lot of people out there in this community that are not happy in the workplace. And clearly that is not a satisfactory position to be in. It's all about fairness, inclusion, respect for these people and being human, being fair. When the Compass Group said to me, Daniel, we want you to go over and look after GE, I was like, great, and I'm gonna be me. From day one, I talked about my partner and it was so liberating. It can feel uncomfortable sometimes. It can feel really uncomfortable. But if you don't do it, then the other people might not also. I found this uh, event tonight very inspiring. Who's seen it? Just found a few. A few. What struck me most uh, is for Samantha to come out as a woman in a very, very male dominated world that I'm aware of. So this is in uh, that very popular magazine, FL Well. <laughs> same, same circulation as Hello. I've only recently transitioned, right? I, I transitioned at work in October 17. Before that, I lived as a woman in a new home. I lived there for a year and then I transitioned. Whenever you come to these events, there's always something that stands out. Yeah. And I think that personal stories are always the most important bit because I think they're the things that you can relate to. We had a project in Lincoln where we look after the council there. And I drove down, um, I had a night out, and I was out with Samantha, and I came back, I was driving down, um, and Samantha still, and I stopped short for about what the lot is to get changed back into my suit in a car, in a car park, you know, crumpled suit and all that. And I and I got into, uh, I was attending a meeting, and the meeting was about so I actually got changed to go into a diversity meeting and I was thinking this is, this is just no. The benefits to businesses that create inclusive cultures are enormous. I mean they include um, improved productivity because people are happy at work, being themselves, uh, mental health which is a massive one. There are some other spin-offs, I suppose productivities are profitabilities up as a result of that. Um, and I think the diverse nature of people bring all sorts of creativity and different views on the age old business problems that will bring innovation to companies. The first thing for me is about empathy, and I think that most people don't have a lot of that. So I think if we can teach empathy, it's really important. I think that you talk about LGBT and FM, but I think it's more around equality. And I think that I think that this whole sphere will move into that. So I think equality is really important. And I just think being kind. I think if we're all just a little bit more kind, we're in a much better place. Yeah.